I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Hey guys, what's up? Today we are doing a neon theme shoot. So today is neon with friends and yeah, a bunch of cool people which I'm gonna go around and introduce in a moment so you guys can just chill. I know you guys are waiting to see Harding again because it was my last video, but you can wait a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot some b-roll and shoot some photos and just experiment and see what we can get. And I'll leave the settings down somewhere. Razzle-dazzle! Yeah, razzle-dazzle. And I'll leave the settings down somewhere so you guys can check how I did it. Okay guys, so kind of what I've found so far with today's thing is that um, the light really matters in these type of things. So at the moment, as you can see above me, we're having these like um, very hard white fluorescent lights. So it's kind of taking away a lot of, I'm just going to move where it's quieter, taking away a lot of what we could have been getting because it's taking away a lot of the color. So um, the color is not the most powerful light at the moment, but the photos are coming out good. And I love the f fact that I'm learning new things. So this is what the cool part about this whole experiment is. Um, the girls are awesome. The photographers are awesome. And I have to introduce you guys now. Hi guys, I'm Kay. This thinks me out. My Insta handle. Okay, what else? Go shout out. It's a YouTube video. Say hi. Say hi to oh, the people. Oh, we're vlogging, guys. We're, we're vlogging. <laughs> okay, so we're at a gaming area called uh, the Magic, Magic Company. Company at Menlin. Your turn to shout out now. You just got into the come frame. On, Don't bro. run away. <laughs> come, come. You've been in the whole video the whole time. Come. Hey guys, I'm Ray. Nice to meet you. Yes. Photographer, photographer, photographer. Photographer. Model. Come on, model. Come, come in the on, video. Model. Come on, give a yeah. shout out. Come give on. yourself a shout come out. This model is shy. <laughs> I know she's shy, but come on. What, give a shout out. What's your handle? What's your handle? I'm Simone, and I'm doing photography today at Menlin. Gaming, whatever. Magic this is. company. Magic yeah. company with the amazing Ron and Ray and Michael. <laughs> Thank you. Go, come on, Instagram handle. Come on. The Instagram handle is Adventurous Mona. Please go follow and support. I would appreciate. Oh, that you guys were just told to do that, to go do that. Mine is coming too. <laughs> yeah, his is coming too. So, Ray, what is yours? Come here. What's yours, Ray? Um, I haven't made it yet. So my YouTube will be, I don't know, it's gonna be English or my my language, but okay. But you, you, you will be enjoying it. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, guys, you finally heard it, and I'm gonna go find Ron because he just ran away. Wait, so where's Ron? Ron! Ron. Okay. You, you, gonna... <laughs> you just ran away. Oh, sorry. Yeah, come on. Uh, what's up? How's it? Um, welcome back. Well, uh, <laughs> almost said welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike Pretorius vlog. Uh, my name's Ron, and we're uh, shooting today at the arcade, as you can see. Okay. And um, apparently, we can't see that. Apparently, we can't see. There's actually a little bit too much light here. We kind of wanted more neon than. That neon than fluorescent. We're struggling a little light. bit, but the photos are coming out good. I'm pretty happy with some of them. Yeah, we're using some cool props and stuff. Yeah, Got he's using a CD. And stuff, um, getting some proper color in. Outfits are pretty cool as well. Okay. We have some two great models here, Kirsten and Simone. So yeah, we, we're coming along nicely. I wasn't really going to shoot that much, but then ended up shooting quite a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. so you guys want to check out these photos. It's going to be probably on at the Harding Effect. So you guys know that already because probably my entire fan base was because of him now. I literally went up 10 followers because of you. <laughs> Seriously, 10, 10, followers. 10 subscribers because oh. of you. So it's like that's, I'll, that's I'll a big fan base. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay guys, we're gonna film some more.
This is like our, like one of our create creativity of oh, testing out a new style. Yeah, of yeah, of course. Of what course. would you say you've been struggling with? Because my thing, I'm struggling with the amount of light that is here, so I'm not getting as much neon as I would like. I was expecting actually more light, more like, neon and less. Yeah, um, not not the bright, not the bright uh, place, but the, like more neon, like light LED lights, mm -hmm. more of it. But that, yeah, it's not, really yeah. We don't have much. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm struggling with as well. Mm -hmm. And what you say is with the key of combating that right now. You say shutter speed or aperture. What is what has been in your favor? Your, your artistic choice. Uh, you've been using in here. Yeah, in here. Uh, obviously, um, neon photography is need to like uh, the photos like needs yeah. to be needs to be taken like. And they suppose, yeah. So in Photoshop you can bring up yeah, the exposure yeah, yeah. on the person's yeah, face yeah. but not in the light. Yeah. Okay, I get that, I get that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Simone, you have anything to say? I'm loving this. I'm loving the people and the shoes and the colors. It's amazing. She's but awesome. Yeah, look at these badass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you guys get back to it. That shall be a wrap. I'll see you guys at home and we'll review some photos. Be out. Okay guys, so we're at home now. I have looked at the photos and they look great. I've tweaked a little bit on, on Lightroom and the photos are coming out awesome. So this kind of was Ray's idea. Ray wanted to do a Brandon Wuffel style shoot and yeah, we all kind of went along because it's a lot of fun shooting with great models, great photographers and it's always an amazing experience. So, um, the things I struggled with a little bit was in Magic Company they have these big fluorescent ceiling lights and it was overpowering the neon. So I didn't get as much neon in the skins that I wanted to. I added to add a little bit of that look in post. And yeah, you guys will see the photos in a minute. So that was kind of my big struggle that I had. But it was awesome shooting with them nonetheless. And it was so nice with Magic Company letting us shoot there. So um yeah, without further ado, you guys really want to see the photo. So first up was Simone. Simone has these like yeah, awesome two photos. The one photo, I couldn't I couldn't pick on all of them that I like, so I chose two. So the one photo was of her looking down, which just goes to show the model doesn't always have to look off to the side or straight to the camera or slightly off to the camera. You don't have to necessarily see the eyes to make a good photo. So I really like this photo because it's like very quiet, it's very artistic. I like the neon in the glasses. I was happy with it in camera and I just tweaked it a little bit, giving it some life in post. Yeah, and number two, number two is that classic Brandon Wolfel bubblegum vibe. So it's this blue and pinks colors that you just see in Brandon Wolfel's type of photos when he did this kind of like arcade neonish shoot. And it is an amazing photo. We actually had a little competition and that's my entry in that little WhatsApp group we have of my Brandon Wolf will f edit after the shoot. So we'll see what happens, who got the, the closest to his style. Next up is Kristen's photos. Now she had these br like a really bright clothing uh, for the first one. And uh, then she wore this like very white hoodie, like white hoodie, Budweiser hoodie. She has this red on there. So she had these colors that were like really working well in the environment. And she had my sunglasses, which are reflective and blue and already you got the blue, so it really looked bubblegum. So the first one that I picked was, she was lying on top of this, you know that game where you smash it hard and it like lights up all the way to the top to see how strong it is and it was always rigged? 
yeah, so she was lying on that and it had this blue glow coming from below and Ray brought his fairy light. So if you ever want to get Brandon Wiffle style fairy lights, reflections and weird little thingies that you buy afterwards. And yeah, so she was lying on that. She got this awesome blue light coming from below and for some reason there was a machine I think off to the side somewhere and brought in some nice pink from the side. And yeah, so I just kind of cleaned that up a little bit more in Lightroom and I just kind of made it a little bit more apparent. And yeah, so minor tweaks, minor tweaks in Lightroom, just kind of color adjustment mostly. And yeah, so that photo was amazing, really loved it. And also then there's number two, number two of hers, she was lying on top of this slot machine, this like, you know, that, well not the slot machine, you know, you drop the coins in, it presses other coins over, you get these like tickets that you get the shitty little gifts from. She was lying on top of that. So my first photo of that was kind of shit. I didn't like it because you saw the wiring from below and I wasn't really happy with the look of the wiring. So um, a cool trick is to you have your CD underneath. So I put a CD underneath this lens, it's 16 to 35, and to just show off the reflection on, um, it kind of like shows the reflection on the CD, so you see that on the lens. And what was cool about this, I used it to show her, so you kind of almost get this like mirror look, even though it was kind of done from the camera's point of view and not from um, the machine's uh, surface. Because when I took the photo, all you saw was these bare, bare, like bare wires and it looked shit. So I rather chose that and the photo came out amazing. Again, just added a little bit of color in post, just played around a little bit and I was really happy with the result. So guys, you know what to do. You can go press that subscribe button if you dug this video. If you want to see more content, ring that bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload. And also smash that like button and yeah, check out the photographers. Their links are down below. Check out the models. Their links are also down below. Support them on Instagram and I think Ray is at some point um, getting a uh, YouTube channel. So I'm also going to link that below there when it happens. So you guys been awesome. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.